In the Profile Toolpath video, we discussed leads. Fluting is a way of controlling how the lead enters and exits the material to create a 3D effect using 2D lines or curves. The toolpath is located between the Profile and Area Clearance toolpaths under the 2D toolpath section. When you select the vector that you want to machine, you will notice that the center of it has a small arrow which denotes the direction that the line is going to be machined. In this case, from right to left. This can be reversed quickly in the fluting dialog by selecting to reverse selected vectors. To use the fluting, select a depth for it to cut to and select a tool. For the time being, I'm going to turn off the end flute and have a linear or straight 100% flute. I'm going to set up the material and then calculate so you can see how it works. So here you can see that because I have the length set to 100%, the tool is gradually going into the material as soon as it starts cutting the line until it gets to the five millimeter depth at the end of the line. In the simulation, you can also see this. If I change the start flute to 50%, it will reach the depth of five millimeter halfway when cutting the line. If it is set to 10%, when the tool gets to 10% along the line, it will reach the five millimeter depth. I can change the way it goes into the material by changing from linear to curve which will give a radius rather than a straight entry. To control how the tool exits the material, let's give it a linear end flute of 50%. This will then start exiting the material in a straight line after it gets to 50% of the length. If desired, you can also add a Z control vector and select a vector which will control how the tool goes in and out of the material. 